Hi everyone, my name is Arvin Alano and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, nobody asked, but in today's video, I am sharing 10 things that I wish I didn't buy for my home and what I should have bought instead. So here in my channel, I have a ton of videos talking about things that I love, that I recommend, but today I'm sharing some of the things that are probably my worst purchases that were just a complete waste of money. So I'm hoping that you learn a little something from my mistakes. Item number one that I wish I didn't buy for my home was this giant magnolia farmhouse clock. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin, you guys. I'm so embarrassed. I know, I know, this one is so bad. Go ahead and clock me down in the comments and let me know how you really feel about this clock. <laughs> I found this at Home Goods, and when I first moved into our home, I was convinced that I loved the farmhouse style, right? And I went to Home Goods, found this massive clock, and I was like, ooh, I need that for my wall because my living room, even though it's small, we have 15 foot ceilings, so we needed something massive. It turns out I wasn't really into farmhouse at all. I was drawn to the fact that it was cozy, it was like homey, but I didn't want to live in a farmhouse, right? So. This was a complete waste of money, and what I should have bought instead was actually a large piece of art to go into that wall to kind of draw your eyes up into the ceiling. That's exactly what I did. I bought this amazing, like, hand-felted wool piece from Pottery Barn. I know art is a very subjective thing, like, something that I like you may hate and vice versa. I like art that's a little bit more simple. Large art pieces are my favorite way to make any space feel a little bit more luxurious. <laughs> Item number two that I wish I didn't buy for my home was this leather sofa from Pottery Barn. <laughs> Ooh, that hurt to say because that sofa was a little bit expensive because it's all leather, but you're probably like, wait a minute. I thought leather sofas are classic and timeless. And they are, but Leather sofas hold a ton of visual weight that are very heavy on the eyes. And if you live in a small space like I do, like my living room is tiny, it just kind of weighed the entire space down. And next to the piece that I already have, it was like this black felted wool. It felt just very heavy. I wish I did more research when I first moved in. And instead of buying something that was leather, I would have gone for something that's upholstered in a lighter color because those tend to make a space a little bit larger. My new sofa now is actually from Value Furniture. It's feather filled, it's plush, it's soft. If you're gonna go for a light sofa, make sure you look for stain resistant or Krypton fabrics. That way if you, you know, get a little messy, you can clean it up with something like Folex or a stain remover. I'll leave my favorites down below. By the way, make sure you watch the video all the way till the end. I'm saving my worst purchase for last. Item number three that I wish I didn't buy, faux fur accessories. <coughs> Ooh, I know, right? Oh my gosh, so cringe. Um, specifically faux fur accessories from like really cheap and mass produced stores like Home Goods and you know, TJ Maxx. Which, by the way, no tea, no shade. I, I love those stores. When you get this, like, really bad faux fur, ooh, you guys, it's just like, it looks nappy. I bought a chair, I had a pillow. These types of materials never look good when they are at this price point, and I'm just being real with you. It just looks like, <gasps> oh my god, it looks like, you know, those troll dolls. It looks like a troll doll's head, okay? Oh. You don't want accessories that look like troll dolls because that's just not cute. And instead of going for these like cheap faux fur pieces, go for classic fabrics like linen, cotton, velvet, and silk because those fabrics can be on the cheaper side and they can still look very luxurious. Just, mm. Don't even think about the faux fur. If I see a troll doll pill in your sofa, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Item number four that I wish I didn't buy, I actually have it right here, and that is trendy mass-produced art. 
yeah, I don't know why I decided to buy like the entire Studio McGee art collection from Target last year. This just like doesn't say anything about my personal interior design style, right? I just kind of like got sucked in to the marketing and it was like, oh, that's really cute. I can make a little gallery wall together. I've learned to kind of just take my time and not buy everything all at once. I'm curating for vintage art pieces. I'm supporting artists and that in itself is really fulfilling because you are supporting someone's business. And I know original art is really expensive, but you can always go to Etsy and find artists that do digital prints and it still looks cool and fresh. Item number five that I wish I didn't buy for my home is actually kind of more like a category and that is fake vintage decor. <laughs> Now, you're probably gonna recognize this vessel. It's from Pottery Barn. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with her. She's pretty, she's cute, but she's not real vintage. For the price that I paid for this vessel, it was probably like around $100. I can go ahead and support some of my favorite small shops that actually source vintage vessels from Europe or Asia. Everybody has this. Let me show you the difference between a Pottery Barn one and another one that I have. Hold on. Okay, so here's a Pottery Barn one, right? And then here is a tiny little vintage vessel. Similar idea, okay? Has a little handles. Try to go for authentic vintage and not like fake vintage from Pottery Barn. <laughs> Item number six is this $100 rug from Amazon. Oh my God, I cannot believe I got tricked into buying this rug. <laughs> it was so bad, you guys. I really wanted to get that vintage rug look. Someone posted this online and they were like, yeah, this is like really cool. It's really affordable. I fell for it. I bought it on Amazon, got delivered, and girl, that thing was printed, okay? It was screen printed. It was so cheap, and in this case, you like, when you buy a rug for $100, you kind of get what you pay for. Am I right? Like, comment down below if you agree. It was such a waste of money. I would never recommend a rug that is poorly made and super cheap like this. Just get something that's a little bit better quality. So item number seven that I wish I didn't buy for my home were expensive throw pillows. Mm. I was like obsessed with Fragments throw pillows. They're super expensive online. Like I think they're originally like 400 bucks, but when they made it to Home Goods, they were about $100 each. Pillows are something that you use all the time. It gets rubbed on and spills and you don't want to spend that much money on pillows because eventually you're going to have to replace it. So what I recommend is instead of buying like a full pillow that's really expensive, maybe invest in like pillow covers and feather fill inserts. I found a bunch of them that are super affordable. Item number eight that I wish I didn't buy are faux florals. <coughs> florals for spring, groundbreaking. I'm mainly talking about faux florals that are like colorful, like I bought a red branch, I have bought a branch that had like yellow in it, I have bought a branch that was like kind of brown, and it just will never look like real plants, you guys. And if you buy like faux olive branches or something that's green, those are okay because I feel like, you know, greenery, it's a little bit easier to fake. Item number nine that I wish I didn't buy was this marble dining table. <coughs> I know, you either are gonna like this one or you're gonna hate it and sound off in the comments down below and let me know what you think. Um, I feel like I just bought this table because I was like in this marble kick lately and I was convinced that I needed a vintage marble table and I don't hate the table. It's just a little too big for my space. This thing was so heavy, you guys. It took like four grown men, including, well, no, not including me. <laughs> It was like my dad, my partner, and like two of his friends. It was just a lot of effort. And granted, I only paid like 
around $300, like super cheap. Tables like this online usually sell for upwards of like $1,500 at least. So I was like, ooh, I'm getting a deal. Don't buy cheap furniture because it's there and it's available and it's cheap. That way you are not wasting your money or your time. So as promised, item number 10 is my worst purchase. And feel free to read me to filth in the comments. And that item is this retro Art Deco table lamp. <laughs> I don't know what came over me and told me that it is okay for me to buy this lamp. I actually have a another one. I got it as a pair. I follow this really cool retro account on Instagram and she has one of these. I just remember thinking like, I need one. Like, oh my gosh, I need, it looks like wings. It's curvy. It's like deco. And so when I saw that in person, I was like, yes, I'll take both, please ring me up. You guys, it just does not match anything in my home. I will say I have a little bit of a lamp fetish. I have this one, I have this one, and I have this one. Um, I love a good lighting moment. When you're buying your lamps, stick to ones that are more classic, that matches your design style. I actually have a ton of lamp recommendations on my storefront, so if you are looking for a lamp, I will link all of them down below because they are amazing and you guys love them as well. Tag me when you get something that I recommend. Tag me on Instagram, use my hashtag Arvin made me do it so I can see it and I can share it. All right, wow. I hope this video was fun and it showed you that I also make really bad mistakes. And that's okay. If you're currently trying to furnish your home, style it, make sure you take your time. Don't just buy anything because it's available and it's affordable. Design and your home doesn't have to happen overnight. Enjoy the process, enjoy the hunt. Sound off in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye everyone.